Oh, hi, video gamers. Uh, we're gonna be jumping into game two. Things took game one. I was not here for it. I had no idea what happened. They're gonna be taking it to Battlefield, and I just wanna say, like, right off the bat, this is tough for, like, Chuggazard. Like, he's, he says already, like, really struggling to land. Um, Ike is just having a field day with these plats. Yeah, Beast just cannot initiate at all. That F tilt almost killing, not quite. Charlie's a, a thick lad. Is that it? There's no way. That's a, <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> if that was it, if he took the stock so easily, I'd have been like really, really disappointed. But right now, Bomb Bimby just holding the stage really, really well, not pushing in too far, but unfortunately missing the spacing on that back hill. Gonna give up stage as a result. Beats is finally gonna have a little bit of room to work with. Um, that's what I would say, had he not just lost his stock there. I don't even have any words for that in his action. I don't even know if that up smash would have killed Ike. Battle kill was a you know, really tall blast zone, but you know what? He only threw it. it. It was the right choice. And now he's just like powering through this. Battlefield seems to be like such a good stage choice for them. I can't help but think like it definitely went uh, somewhere else for game one. Mm, right now, I just want to like point out like Bomb Bimby has like a pretty good land, uh, pretty good idea of how Beast is going to be landing. Like you see him preemptively throwing out these F tilts, and maybe his timing is just slightly off. But Beast always seems to be jumping right into those. However. That up be finally going to be punished. Um, evening up the stock count ever so slightly, not able to land the confirmed, perhaps a little bit outside of the window. Yeah, I'm going to say, like, the psychic is getting a little bit up be hungry. Um, it's not really the fastest out of shield move. I mean, it's reasonably fast, but not against Ivy Sword. And I feel like Beast could definitely be blowing him up a lot more for it. I respect the attempt, like, not to push him too far. Um, but yeah. That being said, this is still a very, very hefty lead for himself right now, Beast. You know, switching back to tried and true Charizard. But yeah, these these platforms are just making it so hard for Beast to land reliably. All these, like, texts, um, just, like, setting up on the platform for you bomb in me. And I've got to say, I really like Bomb Bimby's tag. The alliteration of it, it's just so satisfying. Bomb Bimby. You know, it just it just really rolls off the lips. On well, that being said, that's the down throw. Goes for the up air. Beast with the mash up beat. <laughs> I love it. I just love seeing that, like, completely with... I think it's the funniest thing. Uh, but that being said, perfect punish on the recovery though, just catching him mid-air before he has a hitbox on his way down. That was impeccable timing. Coming from Beast, that's, ooh, I don't think he intended to go for the forward air though. He might have wanted the back air. That being said, finds it. Ah, uh, but he goes, uh, Bomb Bimby really smart with this high recovery. Good mix up. I mean, just like that, Beast has completely evened this up. He positioned himself perfectly, but once again, just ever so slightly off of this timing. Not able to punish it. Is he going to be able to get off of the corner against Ike? I don't understand why Bomb Bimby did that. He held the stage. He held the stage. He had Beast in the corner. Charizard doesn't have the fastest out of ledge options, right? And then just runs away to the other side and gives it up completely. And because of that, Beast was just able to completely switch up the stage and take a stock for it. Like, look at that. He ran away completely. He was waiting for Beast to push in, but Beast was just so patient with it. Hmm. But yeah, this is winning quarter, so that means Beast is going to be advancing onto winning semis. Uh, very, very, I don't want to say confident 2 0 because I did not see game one. Um, so I'm really not, you know, sure about that. But I've got to say, he definitely came back super well uh, game two here. Um, he was holding a deficit through most of the game, but then just really, really turned up uh, the last stock or two. He did a fantastic job of, of, of just staying patient. And, and really capitalizing on some of Bomb Bimby's buttons. Man, Bomb Bimby's, like, man. Bomb Bimby's tag is just so much fun to pronounce. I love it. Well, too bad he's going into loser 